Thursday brought yet another round of thunderstorms to western Washington. It's the second time in just a week where we've seen these storms, and that's pretty rare in itself. We typically only have between five and ten days with thunderstorms in western Washington, so that's pretty rare. We're actually going to be talking more about why we've been seeing so many thunderstorms that happen in the forecast lately. So here are the ingredients you need to create thunderstorms. You need lift, say a big frontal system moving through, you need moisture, and you need instability. Now we're going to focus more on instability. If this this is a forecast map showing a convective available potential energy or CAPE. Basically, it's how much how unstable the atmosphere is. And notice we had just modest amounts of CAPE into western Washington as that front pushed through late yesterday afternoon into the evening hours. Basically, the more CAPE you have, the more energy you have available for storms. One thing to note about this, though, is this is a forecast model, and sometimes forecast models can be wrong. One thing that does affect instability is temperature at the surface or right on the ground. And one thing we did note about yesterday as temperatures were actually a little warmer than forecast. So forecast models may have actually undercut or undersold how much instability there was in the atmosphere. Another thing forecast models do not do well or do not pick up on are warmer waters of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, these are anomalies or Pacific Ocean temperature anomalies. The big red area you see offshore, this is where the, the ocean temperature, at least near the surface, is a lot warmer than normal. So this not only adds moisture, but it also adds heat and more instability to our atmosphere. So that could be another reason why we've been seeing uh, uh, more thunderstorms in the forecast. So why are we seeing these? Well, think about when that front moved through. It moved through late afternoon into the evening hours. That's right after the peak daytime heating hours, and that's when we typically see the most thunderstorms. Added instability because the forecast models aren't really picking up on a lot of that. And also, we're reaching that time of year where we are beyond the peak day, uh, the peak so warming summer months, and we're also seeing uh, as we head into the latter part of summer and early part of fall, more of these weather systems moving in from the west and northwest. So all these reasons combined give us a reason why we've been seeing so many thunderstorms lately.